Hello students. Welcome to this podcast from Army Public School Delhi Kent for class 12th English. And this is your host Renu Singh. I'm here again with another episode of podcast. Today I'll present a story written by an Indian writer Anis Jang. Lost Spring taken from your book Flamingo. As a literature student, you have to enjoy reading this story and apart from the factual comprehension of the text, you have to sharpen your senses and think and respond with sensibility. You also have to think how the language has been used by the author in the story. So keeping these points in mind, I have divided the session into various segments. First about the author, then background of the story, then theme of the story, title and gist of the story and finally the language used in the story. So, we begin with the author. Lost Spring is written by Anis Chang and she is an Indian author, journalist and columnist for newspapers in India and abroad. She was born in Raurkela in 1944. She hails from an aristocratic family in Hyderabad. Her father, Nawab Hashyar Jang, was a renowned scholar and poet. After schooling and college at Osmania University in Hyderabad, she went to Uni- United States for higher studies at University of Michigan, where she did her masters in sociology and American studies. She started her career in writing with the Youth Times, a Times of India's publication, where she worked as a journalist and editor from 1976 to 1979. Now, background of the story. This story, The Last Lost Spring, is an extract taken from Anis Chung's book published in 2005. Lost Spring: Stories of Stolen Childhood. This book focuses on children from deprived backgrounds and includes the story of Idris, a child who is kidnapped and forced to work in a carpet industry in Mirzapur and many others. Theme of the story. Lost Spring is a description of those poor children who are condemned to poverty and a life of exploitation. The two protagonists of the cha- of the chapter Sahib Alam and Mukesh lose their childhood while carrying the burden of poverty and illiteracy. A positive thing is that the author finds the traces of resilience and hope in the bleak stories of exploitation. Now, the next part, suitability and appropriateness of the title Lost Spring. Students, as you know, spring is the season of bloom and here spring is a metaphor of childhood the chapter lost spring describes two stories of stolen childhood but millions of unfortunate children like sahib alam and mukesh waste this spring either scrounging in the garbage dumps of the sima puri or welding glass bangles in the blast of blast furnace of ferozabad their childhood is lost to the demand of survival now the summary of the story sahib alam a son of migrant family from dhaka is a rag picker who lives in sima puri at the periphery of delhi he goes about barefoot scrounging in the heaps of garbage to earn his livelihood for ch- for children like sahib alam a heap of garbage is like a gold mine thousands of such children live with their families in sima puri they live in a slum with not even the basic amenities such as water and sanitation available to them these families are living in utter poverty the children have nothing else to do except rag picking through which they earn something to eat at least garbage to the elders is a means of survival but for these children it is a magical wonder in order to earn better sahib starts working at a tea stall where he is paid rupees 800 per month and all his meals but it seems 
he has lost his carefree care- carefreeness he works for someone else and is no longer his own master this loss of identity weighs heavily on his tender shoulders with this we move on to the second part of the story that is the story of mukesh i want to drive a car and his junk then tells about mukesh another young boy who wants to be his own master he is a boy from ferozabad's glass making fa- industry and as a family tradition he has always worked in the glass blowing industry here the children work in a close proximity of finances and in such and at such a high temperature that they are exposed to various health hazards they even lose their eyesight generations after generation families of bangle makers have been engaged in making bangles they live in poverty they work hard and die in poverty nothing has changed with the passage of time they find themselves in the clutches of middlemen and money lenders if the youth try to organize themselves they realize that the police and administration will not help them if they try to get out of the vicious circle the police beat them and put them in jail vicious circle means where the end is the cause of its beginning it is not easy for a bangle maker to do something different the stigma of his caste always goes with him but mukesh want, wants to be a motor mechanic he wants to learn this work at a garage far from far away from his own his house and he wants to be his own master so these are the two stories we have read uh, we i have just narrated about sahib e alam and mukesh now the language which has been used in the story anish chang is known for her vivid and lively descriptions although this story speaks of a factual events and situations of misery it transforms these situations with an almost po- poetical prose into a literary exp- in the experience here are some literary devices used by the author the first one is hyperbole is used when she when she writes garbage to them is gold metaphor has also been used where she is directly comparing two things web of poverty drawn in an air of desolation scrounging for gold then simile when she compares the hands of a girl with the tongs of a machine the girl who was making bangles the irony irony is the meaning of uh, the protagonist of the first story the name of the protagonist of the first story sahib e alam that means the lord of universe apart from these she has used contrast antithesis paradox have been used so so much that it to highlight the abject poverty they are living in in this story the author brings out the sin of child labor so now you pick up your book and enjoy reading story lost spring goodbye till we meet again keep practicing keep revising and be safe thank you